Happy Thursday, everyone. This is take two on this live. My husband started to call me as soon as I went live and I was like, oh no, this was glitching now. He's gonna keep trying to call me until he gets a hold of me. So I just stopped the live and started over. So I got some new homeschooling books for my kids as a Christmas present for them. It's kind of a Christmas present for me. It was kind of homeschool curriculum, but you know, when you're a homeschooling mom, all those things kind of mesh together. If you know, you know, um, but I've been loving them and I'm so excited. So I wanted to share them with you guys. I have my kids coming in. They're probably gonna be banging and making noise in the background. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Tuttle Twins, but they have come very highly recommended to me. So I've had my eye on them for about a year, but my kids are first grade, preschool, and then two. Um, so I thought, okay, I have time. They just did like a huge Black Friday sale. So I got all 13 of these books for like a hundred dollars. Okay. Um, but you can still get the books. I wanted to tell you guys about them. I like them so much because I've kind of changed my education philosophy. Um, so if you don't know, I used to be a middle school and then a high school math teacher. So I would say like that time of teaching just really made me feel like I want my kids to be active. I want them to be outside. I want them to learn in lots of different ways and not just sitting at a desk. And all of that has been a big motivation for me in homeschooling because I just felt like even my seventh graders were just sick of the school game by seventh grade. And that was just was heartbreaking to me thinking these kids have six more years of school and they're already sick of playing the school game. Okay. Um, I actually just got done reading the book, dumbing it down. I'm going to do another live about that one eventually because, oh my goodness, such a good book. Um, very interesting. What's up? Just go upstairs, okay? Just be quiet. All right, real life here. Um, anyways, that's kind of the background of my educational philosophy. So why I share that is because with my first grader and now my preschooler, my goal has really just been to do math and reading as like my curriculum. Um, there's history curriculums out there for that age, there's science curriculums out there, and I just couldn't imagine all day like I just have more and more been like I don't want my day at home to look like a public school day where I'm just like making them sit at a desk all day and like trying to do that it just seemed miserable it's not how I wanted to school and I have to say I'm so pleased that just focusing on those two just how well my kids are doing and really just wanting to cultivate a love for learning okay but I also wanted to add in some history and so I was trying to figure out like how I could do that. So we've definitely been focusing on read aloud. Um, that's fun for the kids. We get to learn, you get your science, you get your history, all kinds of stuff just based on what books they pick out and it's great. Um, but this is kind of just a more focused approach talking a lot about like the free market and honestly they're they're very very conservative books um talking about like what a free market really should look like so this first one is talking about the law and how we all have responsibility um but we all have like rules should not be made that keep us from practicing our freedom so it's really cool um this next one is about a pencil and it talks about all um like the family tree of like where items come from so here's just a little example right so they say like okay your family tree is you know your grandparents your great grandparents all of that but like a pencil has a family tree based on who it took to make that item and so it's talking all about like the economy so they're but they're written as like stories of these two twins so my first grader and my preschooler have been loving them, which is really exciting to me because they read like a story, but they're talking through all these like pretty complex, you know, concepts and economics. Um, this one is all about, um, all about money and they talk about um, just like inflation, which I mean, completely applicable to right now. It's talking about inflation and like in a kid version, which is super cool. Um, we just started reading this one today. So there's 13 of them. This is number five. Um, and this one is talking about like the economy also and talking about how they built this new road and how it's affected this beach that they used to go to because these businesses have to move out because there's not as many people, which means they can't make as much money. So anyways, a super cool. I think, um, I don't know if I can share. No, I can't. Maybe not. I can't figure out how to share it, but, um, it talks about socialism. It talks about all these things. So they are my new favorite books when it comes to homeschooling because they read like a story. So it really just feels to the kids like we're just reading a book. Um, but they love them. Okay. So there they are. They're watching in here. Um, but they've been loving them. I mean, we're on Christmas break and we're just sitting down reading them. And there's like all these like incredible concepts. They also have, um, this is just a sample here of they do like a magazine and this one talks all about like money and it even has Bitcoin in here. So it's like pretty up to date. Um, 
and all of that. So those are my new favorite homeschooling books because my goal is just when they are this young to focus on math and reading and really, really, really to just instill in them a love for learning that they want to come ask me questions about all kinds of things in the world. Um, I've been sitting down, I don't know about you, if you're looking at your 2024 goals and just kind of thinking about like, what do I want my homeschool year to look like? Um, obviously reading the book and humming it down has really kind of like really made me think through what do I want my homeschooling year to look like and how do I want to rethink education, um, focusing on a lot of hands-on learning, focusing on like getting involved in our community, like how can I make experiences like this that they talk about, the free market, help my kids see that and experiencing that, whether it be we visit a factory where my brother works as an engineer, whether we, you know, have my other brother-in-law who works with computer software teaching them something, like really trying to focus on teaching my kids about real life, the free economy, how to instill a love of learning, and how to just make it so family-oriented. So that's our goals. I hope Hi. that's helpful to you. Um, if you guys have other questions about that or other things you've been reading and loving, I would love to hear from them. Okay, did you want to say hi real quick? Uh, hi. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and always love having the homeschool conversation with you. If you're someone who's thinking about homeschooling or you're already homeschooling, um, I always love to encourage other moms, not because I have the answers, but because it's just such a fun, special journey.